Hi, my name's Ollie Locke and you may well know me from a show called Made in Chelsea and if you don't, you may know me as the co-founder of a dating app called Chappie. But I'm here to tell you about my coming out story. The ins and outs, if you will. In October 2010, I signed a contract to be on a show called Made in Chelsea. For you Americans, it's a mixture of Gossip Girl with 90210 with The Hills on a reality show based in West London. When I first started the show, I brought a girlfriend on, and by the end of the series, I had already kissed a man, come out, and been the first person in British reality television to come out on national TV. At this time, the show was getting ratings of 2 million per week, and the show had become one of the biggest shows in Britain. I feel that coming out on national television in such a public arena gave me such a huge confident boost that I knew that all around Britain people could hear my story and hopefully give them just that little bit of hope they need to bring themselves out. It was the third episode of the show and my best friend Binky had come round to see me and I remember speaking to the producers and they were like, if you want to do this, this is the time to do it now. And so I went on camera. I didn't know whether I liked men and women at the time. And I think when it comes to bisexuality, I think a lot of people talk about it in either a negative response. And I do feel that sometimes the B in LGBT is forgotten about because people don't quite relate to it quite yet. However, I did come out as bisexual because at that time, I didn't know what I was. Whether this was a transition or it was a permanent thing, I didn't know quite as yet. However, at that point, I knew I liked both men and women, and so that's how I came out. The irony is, after all of that, I then had to come out again as a gay man. So when I came out, there wasn't a place that I felt where I was safe or respected or reflected what I want as a gay guy at that time. There was, there was only hookups. There wasn't anywhere I could potentially find someone I wanted to go on a date with or, or potentially build a relationship with. That's what I wanted, and I think a lot of people wanted too. So Chappie was invented. A platform where you can choose Mr. Right and Mr. Right Now in a safer, more community-led feeling app. So the really great thing about Chappie is that all our users are verified through Facebook, which means Chappie is a safer place to date. I think if I look back now at what I did on camera all those years ago, I've been in such a hugely fortunate position where I could get to spread the message about how difficult sexuality can be to someone that is coming out. I was 24. Um, and I think over the last couple of years especially, I've, I've learned more and more about gay world that I didn't know about because it's not a book. You can't read this kind of stuff. You have to learn it through experience, through talking to friends and being a part of that mass community that are all there, ready to help you whenever you need it. I'm so lucky now that I consider myself the most fortunate man in the world where I feel that being gay is the biggest privilege I have in my life, which I never thought I'd be able to say five years ago, but now I can sit here firmly as a gay man, having the most wonderful time with the job of my life, with the best friends and a community that I really call my family.